What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder in a brand new season. So if you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you for everybody who has supported the channel by subscribing and dropping likes on the videos. So guys, for the first team we're going to be using in the new season, it's going to be a Lapras team. We want to get off on a strong start. We have the Lapras with the Light Clay, G-Max with Free Strike, Hydro Pump, Thunder, and Protect. We also have the Sableye over here, which Sableye is awesome. Everyone loves Sableye. Like, Sableye is just that Pokemon on that team that can win you matches without even hitting anybody. It has Fake Out, will o -Wisp, Quash to actually slow down the opponent, make him go last, and Knock Off. I really do like this moveset because he has to flinch, he can take off items, he can burn physical attackers, and he has that Quash to make the opponent go last with the Roselli Berry and Prankster, so it goes first with his priority moves. Then we got behind my face cam, nice little Whimsicott over here, set up the Tailwind, get the Speed Boost, Fake Tears, Moon Blast, Protect, normal moveset with it, and then we got this Chandler who's pretty dope. The Chandler with Choice Scarf and Infiltrator, I think Infiltrator makes you hit through Protects and all that, right? I believe so, and Substitutes, which is pretty dope. I'm not sure about Protects now I say it, but I know it hits through uh, Substitutes. It has Shadow Ball for Stab, Heat Wave for Stab, Energy Ball for coverage and Clear Smog. That can actually work out well. So it's not an Imprison Channel, which most people will think. We can just Clear Smog and basically just change all the stat changes. So most people are rolling like Weakness Policy Pokemon or like Decorate Al Creme in the Lapras. We can just Clear Smog and take it all out. Then we got this Guts Conqueror chilling out here. Normal thing. Flame Orb with Drain Punch, Rock Slide, Mock Punch. And protect and then in the final spot i love rose raid rose raid is on this team with that wide lens and natural cure so like if it has status condition if it swaps out and once it comes back in it has no more status condition so that's a pretty cool ability with sleep powder for that wide lens we can put a lot of pokemon to sleep with better accuracy leaf swim for big damage sludge bomb and protect guys you want to use this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom screen and guys let me know because i seriously have no idea what are the new changes for season four are there new pokemon allowed any new rules seriously let me know in the comment section down below i'd love to get you guys feedback but let's get it guys let's go straight into this we're not even gonna do a little cut we're gonna go over here and just check out the whole new thing see what thing we're starting off on we are starting off on great ball tier great ball tier Ooh, that's ugly that is ugly we haven't seen that in a good bit is this season five I thought it was season five or season four. I just hit I just hit B. So why is it taking me into battle? That's weird. I hit B. Oh no, that was for the C the team. Okay, that's fine. But we're gonna be using this team right here. Let's get it. I'm gonna try to get off to a strong start in the season. Hopefully Whimscott can kinda just like set up that tailwind we get rolling out from there. But we'll see, we'll see. I legit just waited 15 minutes to get into one match. I kept loading up and it was just like no opponent's been found. I'm like, what do you mean? What is going on? I did that twice until I restarted the game. But now we're here in match number one. He has Espeon, Tailwind Setter with that uh, Raviari, Wishy Washy. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, Umbreon, Arcanine, and Sylveon. So I kind of got to watch out for that uh, Tailwind little little bugger over there, that bird. I think I'm going to lead the Lapras. I think Lapras is in a safe lead here. Maybe set up the Tailwind as well. We are Sashed. So we'll go here, here. And then, hmm. hmm who else do we bring here? I don't want to bring Sableye. I don't want to double in. I think Whimscott and Sableye are good separately. Um, I kind of want to bring that Rose Raid and the Conqueror, potentially. Definitely the Conqueror. For sure the Conqueror. And then you see the Rose Raid or Chandelure in the back end. Um, I think Rose Raid's the, the better call. I honestly do think Rose Raid is going to be the better call. Put Pokemon to sleep. It could do some work up against that Sylveon and uh, up on that Wishy Washy as well. So let's go in with this. Try to get a big fat W for our first match in the new season. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below, June 25 on Twitch. We've been streaming every single day since this quarantine happened, and I don't really think things are going to change right now. So expect streams daily now. Daily, uploads daily, streams daily. So come hang out. Link is in the description below. Like I said, June 25 on Twitch. We do Pokemon Sword and Shield viewer battles, push and rank ladder, and we do tons of Animal Crossing content as well. So if you do have Animal Crossing, come hang out, play with me, all that good stuff. We, got, we have a nice little group over there who we all play with. But I'm going to go straight into a Tailwind, obviously. And I'm going to drop a nice little G-Max Resonance. Got it. I got to set up this Ruler Rail, turn one. It's just too good. It's too good. They didn't take it out in this new season. So it's just like, bro, why not? Why not? It's, it's not broke. Don't fix it. Or if it ain't broke, don't fix it. However you want to say it. However you want to say it. There we go. Big Dynamax here. Look at my trainer. Still looking spiffy. Hasn't changed his look since season one, but still rocking out strong. Everyone's been saying recently, yo, you can change your trainer card in this time. Like, I don't know, man. I like annoying people. <laughs> but, yo, it's hilarious. But, yo, 470 HP. Let's get it. Let's go. We're going to set up this Tailwind. Get a little freebie. We're going to protect. That's totally fine. We'll be able to hit through and do some work here. What's that? I feel like that Umbreon has something up his sleeve. Right? That Umbreon's got to be doing something crazy. 
What are you doing, Umbreon? Umbreon's got something up its sleeve. I know that for a fact. There you go. Resonance gonna pop here. It's not gonna, it's not gonna KO, but we're gonna set up this little bit of thing. Do I drop a Thunder now? I might drop a Thunder now. Let's see what this Umbreon's doing. Beautiful Aurora Bell. What a lovely little sight. So we got Aurora Bell up here. Umbreon's gonna go for a Taunt. Yo, we had Prankster. I'm a Taunt now. That's totally fine. I'm gonna come in with that Moon Blast. Coming in hot. Um, Moon Blast definitely fine out here. Let me see the other mods. Who do you potentially swap? I think Thunder's the safe play. Right? I think Thunder's the safe play. You swap into Wishy Washy, Thunder is totally the safe play. A little bit of Max Lightning over here. And we have the Moon Blast flying out here. So don't withdraw the Braviary. Come here. What you want? What you want? What you want? Come on, baby. What do you want? What more do you guys want? Oh! Jeans with the reeds, baby. With the reeds. The reeds are insane. They're just, we're just on top of this. We are on top of our game to start off the new season. Beautiful play. Let's go. Yo, that play deserves a like button. Go down there and hit that like button for me. <laughs> But there you go, red card. We're just gonna swap out our Whimscott. That's totally fine by me. Bring me out, Rose Raid. That's fine. We got the Rosa the Rosa Raid. It's even better for the Wishy Washy. Like, get out of my face. And we have this Tailwind. Big Max Lightning coming through. Yes, sir. And the Roar Veil's showing. Umbreon's gonna go. I think Umbreon might just throw a Dark Move over into my my Rosa Raid. My Rosa Raid. Let's see what happens. Trigger this thing's buried just early on. That's fine. That is so good. And we're gonna be able to outspeed because of this Tailwind. Wishy Washy, you don't want it. Yawn's gonna come out here. Yo, we're protected by the electric terrain. Let's go. Um, I think I just sludge bomb from here. I think I just sludge bomb from here. Light safe. Or I could. You know what? I'm going for the sleep battle. Why wouldn't I put this thing to sleep? Let's put this thing to sleep and then drop another Max Lightning. But if you want to swap back to your Brave Yari, we can just dump on it as well. Because we're gonna outspeed it all day. We have a War Veil chilling. Protect. That's totally fine by me. I'll be able to take it out next turn. Easy. That's light work, buddy. That's light work. Sleep powder. Is that, which, oh, oh my god Guys, um, you know that like I just asked for uh, you, you can take it back You can take it back Because jeans is dumb That was the dumbest thing I ever did That just made up for the play I did make But I just saw that yawn doesn't work And I went for a sleep powder Like what do you mean jeans What are you doing You know what I, I gotta fire myself I think this is gonna be the last video ever <laughs> We're gonna go in here No rain I didn't set the rain Which is totally fine um, hmm. I'm just gonna sludge bomb over on this. And do I drop a thunder? I'm gonna just freeze dry. It has a higher percentage chance of hitting. We should be able to go before, so Wishy Washy should be gone. Shouldn't really worry about the Braviary too, too much. Now, I might wanna swap out the Lapras in a little bit. He's gonna withdraw the Umbreon. That's totally fine. Who are you gonna go into? Braviary, dude. Sludge Bomb's gonna be able to do some nice little damage over on that thing as well. The Sludge Bomb. Take it. Yes, and we get the poison, yo. Give it up. <laughs> Give it up. And I think we have one more turn. No, this one should be our last turn with the uh, Tailwind. Oh, bang, yo. See you later, Wishy Washy. If we keep this dude from going Tailwinding, we're totally fine. Because now he has, he has Umbreon, he has Braviary. Is this thing leftovers? Oh, no. Wish. Oh, that's why he did that. But we throw the poison on him. Start ticking away. Um, No more Tailwind, which, which, which is a little rough. So I'm hoping maybe my... Because he has to go Tailwind, right? He has to go Tailwind. That's a fact. Or do I just play the swap game? Yes, Sylveon. I gotta go Sludge Bomb over there. And I gotta go after him. That way. Okay, let's Sludge Bomb this bad boy. And let's just go into a... Let's just go Freeze Dry. Because I feel like Freeze Dry should be able to kill this thing. What you want, fool? What do you want? Battle was cancelled. Easy, baby. Easy match number one. That is how it's done. Let's get it, guys. Coming off that strong first match, I'm ready for this next one. I'm ready for this next one. This guy is Milotic, Dragapult, Gyarados, Tokus, Excadrill, and Duraldon. Okay, and Duraldon. That team's looking pretty strong. I think I got to go Tailwind user for sure. I think I definitely got to set up Tailwind. Easy pick. So Tailwind into Lapras. We could go Lapras turn one, but I got to watch out for that Hypnosis. So I actually might go Rosary. I actually might just go Rosary for that turn one. Right? Or I can see Tokus, Duraldon. I can put a Pokemon to sleep that way, so let's go here. Let's go Rose, Rose Raid. I'm going to bring him Lapras in the back end, and then Conqueror final spot. Potential Dynamax Conqueror. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go. Let's get it. So I can actually handle that Duraldon, handle that extra drill as well. Do we have Thunder Punch on him? I don't think we have Thunder Punch. Actually, we might. We might. If we do, that might be a great lead. Let's see. Take summary. No, we have Rock Rockside's not bad, though. Rockside dumps on a few of these mons. Do I just go 
I'm not going. No, 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 no. no. We'll, we'll keep him in the back, but he's probably our Dynamax Pokemon of choice here. He does work all around. Does work on that Gyarados, the Togekiss, the Duraludon. That's three, and he does work on the Extra as well. So he might be our, our Pokemon of choice here for the Dynamax. But come on. We gotta get two in a row. We gotta get two in a row just to start off season, whatever it is, the new season. We gotta start off strong and get rolling. But I'm kind of scared of that Milo tick. This is why I went to the Rosary, because I know we can have speed. Sometimes we'll put to sleep, we'll just drop a Leaf Storm on it. Bingo, bango, bongo. Day night, night to that. <laughs> I just said bingo, bango, <laughs> Bro, I don't even know why I even said that. <laughs> I think I saw it on TV or something. Somebody said it. Now it's just been stuck in my head. But here he goes. He leads the Milo tick extra bear. Bear potential protect coming out from that extra drill or a dynamax. Um, but we're definitely going to put actually, I'm thinking maybe a sleep from the I'm thinking maybe a sleep from the Milotic. I could taunt it actually. I do not have taunt, never mind. So, definitely this. Um, who do I slump up? This thing's gotta go protect turn one, right? I say it goes protect turn one, that Milotic, and we put this thing to sleep. Let's see. Come on, show me Jeans' reads. I got, dude, I got this guy. He's like a book. He's like a book to me right now. Let's see. Well, it's, well, it's 2020, so he's like a phone app that I'm just reading, scrolling down. <laughs> no books anymore. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, baby. What you want? I'm telling you, I think he's going to go into that protect here. I really do. Oh, he's going to Dynamax the extra drill? Show me that extra drill. Show me that extra drill. That could be huge if it's extra drill. Is it the drill? It is. Okay. Okay. So we got the sleep rolling out over there. We got the sleep rolling out over there. Milotic, I seriously think it's going for protect. Like, this is why. Hopefully, it doesn't go for hypnosis, but we should be able to outspeed it. Let's see. Let's see it. No, it does not go for a protect. It does not go for protect. That's totally fine by me. And our sleep powder should be able to connect. Bruh. Bruh. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. What do you mean? We have wide lens as well. And we're missing sleep powders? What is this game? What is this game? Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. This game's broken. This game's broken. Muddy Water's gonna fly through. Broken game. I don't even care anymore. Like, come on. This is why we have wide lens on this rosary. Is it for to not miss the sleep powders? And it what does it do? Misses the sleep powder. You know, get out of here, Conquador. Get out of here, buddy. Where do I go, Lapras? Now, get out of here, Commodore. You, you should get out now. Here, <sighs> game, man. This game, this game, this game. Uh, definitely big Dynamax coming out here on the Conk Conk. On the Conk Conk. Ben, and then I could fake tears. I could moon blast. I could protect. Um, I think I'm gonna moon blast and lower target special attack. But then this thing could be competitive. So I'm actually going to uh, fake tear first. So take that fake tear. We coming in hot, Max Knuckle. Uh, 70 or 90 obviously 90 and we're coming after you buddy. We're coming after you But yeah, are you serious? This thing should be asleep right now. We should have been chilling We should have been able to go into a leech storm this turn hit on that Milo tick But now he's probably gonna hypnosis me and everything's just going to be doo doo. Everything's just gonna be doo doo And I think now that we lost I think we we potentially lost the match Because of that miss just like that's what annoys me about online Pokemon like one miss attack One little flinch something something like that could lose you the game I can just lose you the game. And I seriously think it is 100% a different match if that sleep would have landed. But let's just see how we can actually bounce back from that. I'm hoping we should be fine. It is competitive. Um, why? I wouldn't go into the... No, no, I'm dumb. Here comes the Steel Spike coming into my Wimscott. Wimscott... Oh, no, not into my Wimscott. Into the Conqueror. Conqueror is able to eat up easily. That's an easy eat up. I can't believe that thing outspeeds, even in the Tailwind. That's a little whack. And the defense is going to raise up both those mons. Knuckles gonna fly out here. Be able to do some decent damage, but he has a defensive boost. And then our guts are gonna trigger, and we have this attack boost as well. So, um, bum, bum, bum. I don't want to play this one. That that what's called scary now. The Milo tick is definitely scary now. Breaking swipes going to miss. Doesn't affect one Scott, but he's just gonna drop my attack. That's his plan the whole time. To drop my attack back down. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. So we'll boost it up. But now our guts are triggered. That's the, that's a the huge part right there. The big guts. Um. So I just moon blast into this. Cause what what is this thing stats? Let me see this thing stats. Let me see the Milotic stats. So its special defense is down one. It is down one because it boosted it with. How did it boost it? Can it be down two? I get that why its special attack can come through. But did he quake? He quaked. He quaked. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna moon blast over onto it. 
And I'm going to throw another Max Knuckle over on this side. If he goes into a guard, which might happen, it might happen. Let's see, Moon Blast flies through first. Do not get the special attack drop. It probably will. Just my luck right now. Let's see. No, it does not. Thank you. Steel Spike is going to pop out here. Go after my Whimsy. Okay, it goes after my Whimsy. That's fine. Whimsy goes down. And I can Max Guard next turn easily. I can Max Guard next turn, come down into a, uh, a Drain Punch, potentially get a bunch of HP back and roll from there. Let's see. We can say buy the extra drill. Bye bye, extra drill. You gone. Get him out of here. Get him gone. Okay. Boop. Extra drill gone. Hmm? Huh? Oh no, it just got that defense boost. Whack, yo. That is so whack. That is so whack. Breaking swipe comes in here and minuses it again. Okay. So that guts didn't. Mmm. Mmm. It's annoying. That is annoying. Okay, breaking swipe's gonna drop us again. That's playing it very, very well. Like I said, if we had that sleep powder, this match is a totally different game. Totally different. Um, Lapras gotta come out here. I have Freeze Try on it. I think Freeze Try definitely going to fly out here and we have to max guard. Or do I take out the extra drill? I think I take out the extra drill here. I wish I had a double hit move. I wish I had like Muddy Water right now. I think could have Freeze Try as well, but. Hmm. Hmm. Tommy turns left in the sailor. Let me give a quick peek. Let me give a quick peek. We have one. Okay, so no, I have to attack here. Freeze Try definitely pops out on you. And then I could drop a rock fall, but I think I just boost the attack again and take out the extra. Drill. Let's see it, baby. What you want? What you want? I could see him going for protecting and we're going for muddy water, but he does not. Freeze dry pops. Maybe I should have just dumped on the Milotic. Let's see how much damage we're gonna do here. Take him out. Oh, it does. Okay, so double kill here. Double kill. Extra is gonna get another shot off. I mean, match isn't over just yet. Rock slide's gonna pop through. Conqueror will eat. The thing is, I need to be able to land like a drain punch next turn and get a bunch of HP back. Max Knuckle flies through. Give me that attack boost. Oh, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay, 2v2 situation. Dude, I'm so frustrated. I am so frustrated with that sleep powder, bro. Like, what do you mean? Dude, I like I had it planned out in my head. Sleep, exit drill, leaf storm out. Bang, see you later, my little tick. Come in, take my time, get the conqueror in eventually. Just roll out against that, uh, against that extra drill. Take him out. And then, like, my team counters a lot of this. Let's see who he sends out. Gyarados, we would have rock fall this. And Toga Kiss, we would have rock fall this. <laughs> so no need to go into a drain punch. Um I think maybe I protect here. And maybe go for a free try. Do I protect or do I just get after it? I see a potential follow me, so we're just gonna rock slide here. Ooh, let's see this. Let's see this. Ooh. Let's see. Maybe follow me and you might set up a dance. I don't even know. I don't even know. I know he's faster than us because the tailwind's over. Like, bro, what you mean? Uh, I know he's faster than us. Let's see. Dad's and Gleam's gonna pop through. Come on, Conk. Eat it, buddy. Game stinks. Did he get a crit on me? No, he didn't. Okay. Ah! GG to this guy. Match 2 did not go our way. Not not even in the closest bit. Big miss attacks. Big losses. 1-1 one and one to start off the season. Hopefully, we can go 2-1 and one in this next third and final match and try to get a winning record to start us off. That could be pretty good. But GG to this guy. I'll give him props. He got the W in the end. This guy might be using one of my favorite teams, an own tempo mudsdale team. I'm a big fan of him, probably my favorite team in this game right now. But he has Durant, the Mudsdale, he has the Grimstar, Arcanine, Gyarados, and the Gaston. Do I give Roserade another shot here? That's the real question. Do I give Roserade another shot? I think I do. I think I do. But if you guys are hanging out with me in this third and final battle, give me a hashtag new season squad in the comment section down below. It lets me know who watched the videos all the way through and who hangs out. But do I go with the I, I'm gonna give Roserade another shot. But I, I, I feel like I take the speed advantage. I gotta watch out for the. I definitely gotta watch out for that uh, own tempo mudsdale. You know? That's a fact. That is a fact. So I feel like Lapras could be good with the light clay. I'm gonna lead that potentially set up there. Actually, let's not lead it. I feel like Conqueror is going to be big with that flame orb in the back. And then let's go this route. Let's go this route. Bang. Done. Over with. Let's get it. The real. The scary. Oh my god. Maybe I should have led the chandelier. Maybe I should have led the chandelier because I could have tailwind and totally outsped that Durant. Hands down, because that Durant is also a scary Pokemon. You guys already know how strong Durant actually is with Hustle as his ability. It can roll out in Dynamax Worm and just start wiping out your team. Let's see, he goes Grimstar Arcanine. Okay, so we're chilling here. Grimstar Arcanine, he's potentially just going to snarl up. Like, that's a fact. He's potentially just going to snarl up. Um, I really don't see him snarling right now. Intimidate comes out here. I think he's going to go straight for that Heat Wave. We're in a sticky situation to start us off. Um, hmm. Hmm. I, st I, like, I see us out speeding to be honest with you guys. Like, regardless, I'm gonna actually fake to you. 
But I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Arcanine. I want you out the way. I want this Arcanine out the way. I want it gone. I want it gone. If I can fake Tios and drop a nice big fat sludge bomb on it, that could be nice. And potentially just take it out. Let's see if we made a nice little call for Because I'm, I'm not scared of this Grimstarl at all. I I was going to set up Light Screen. Now, now I'm a little scared because he set up the Light Screen, but... At minus two could be big. Let's see, Rosary go first. Rosary does not go first. And you go for a safeguard. So good call by us to just go straight into the sludge bomb. And maybe take it out with a Moonblast next turn. Let's go. Big damage. Uh, do we see Moonblast actually taking it out? And I'm going to just go Tailwind here. Now I'm going to go Tailwind. And I'm going to take out this Arcanine. I'm not playing around here. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. We're giving Rosary a second chance here. Now I got to watch out for the safeguard. Rosary's taking the attack, the attack load on this one. No sleep powders from you. We're not, we're like you, you think you think you're gonna breeze with that safeguard? That's not happening, dude. We're too unpredictable. We're too good. Tailwind, bang. We got the speed advantage, baby. What you want? Sludge bomb. Bye bye, Arcanine. Get him out of here. Get him gone. We we'll don't have to worry about your dumb heat waves doing anything to us. He's probably gonna set up or he, no, he's got he has to attack. Foul play comes out here. That's fine. We'll eat that up all day. We'll eat that up all, all day. We're special attacking. Alright, so Sludge Bomb can fly out here, do some mean work. Um Who's going to go into him? He's going to own tempo his own Mudsdale. I mean, that's fine. Uh, can I fake through that? No, it's own tempo. It's own tempo. Don't even do it. Don't even do it. Uh, do I go for the poison? I can't I can't do that. I said we double up into this thing. Go ahead, show me that swagger misses. Like, we know what's happening. We know what's happening. It has the light screen. It has the soul vest. I use these teams all the time. So I'm going to, after this, uh, one of my Pokemon goes down here. I'm thinking he's going to go Steel Spike into uh, Grimscott to get that defense boost. I hope he's not boosting special defense. I hope we can just take out this Grimstar so he doesn't get a sw another Swagger. But come on, miss your Swagger, dude. Miss it. You don't want it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. You're not Swaggering? We're going to be able to take you out then. We're going to be able to take you out. You can say bye to the Grimstar. Uh, okay. You weren't Swaggering? I'm down for it. I'm down for it. We're sitting pretty well now. Steel Spike's gonna come into my Whimscott. That's fine. We are, are we all special attacking? Besides my, what's it called right now? My, uh, Conqueror, which I'm cool with. Hey, right, bang, there we go. Focus Sash up. Hmm. He's gonna boost his defense, and I know he's gonna come after my, uh, Rose. And now it comes down to a, uh, 2v4, probably like a 3. Gyarados comes out here. I can't put him to sleep. That's whack. Um, there's no way Gyarados is faster than any of these mons. Okay, so I'm potentially seeing a double kill from him, so I might as well try to tee off on this, uh, this Gyarados. I think that's the play. I'm going to Leech Storm right into this thing. I'm going into the Gyarados with this Leech Storm. Because I don't think it's going to do too, too much in the Mud Sail. It has that Assault Vest and it's just a big bulky boy. Good boys. We're just going to try to dump on this Gyarados and make it into, like, a 2v1. But, uh, not not that much damage coming out from there. Leech Storm, let's see how much you can do. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Rosary. Nothing. Dude, dude, that thing's bulky, actually. Thing's bulky. Special attacks is harshly dropping. And we're going to trigger his berry. We're going to trigger his berry. And we can say bye-bye to both these mons. Because you know, it's, it's they're, they're done. They're done. But we still have our Dynamax. Still have our Dynamax. Ice Fang pops. Going to take out you. That's fair. And do we have one more turn in Tailwind? I think so. I think so. I think we have one more turn in Tailwind. I'm trying to think. So we set up Tailwind. We went to two Moon Blasters. Right? Yeah, two Moon Blasters. I'm going to boost the defense here. Uh, that's tough. That is some tough news. But definitely Dynamax from you know whom, the Lapras. We're gonna drop the ice down onto the Mudsdale, and we're gonna get the award bell set up. Then we have Guts Conqueror here. So match is looking not too bad for us. Not too bad. He has one more turn. Do I do I predict the guard? Do I predict the guard? I could predict the guard. But how many turns? Do we have Tailwind? Right? Do we have Tailwind? We do have Tailwind. I could totally predict the guard, but Oravel obviously. But we're just going to go there, and we're going to drop a nice little rock slide. A rock slizzle, to be exact. Try to do some mean work on that Gyarados. So let's see what happens here. Here goes our Dynamax. My Lapras, I'm thinking the Gyarados might be the fastest, but my Lapras should definitely be able to outspeed that Mudsdale in this Tailwind. Same thing with my Conqueror, because Mudsdale is rather slow. Maybe not even in the Tailwind we can outspeed that Mudsdale. But Gyarados still might have the speed advantage here. We'll see. We will actually see. A big HP with this Lapras. Coming in. Come on, baby. Give me that winning record here. Give me it. Give it to me. Let's go. Residence. He does not guard. Good thing we did go after him. We'll be able to drop this. Is he policy? Is he policy? That's a, that, that is actually a good question. Because he didn't. He wasn't swaggered. 
But he's, he's own tempo. Because, well, he's got to be own tempo, right? He's not stamina. Yeah, okay. So, he's got to be own tempo. And he did not swagger him up. That's kind of whack. Did we make that Gyarados flinch? No, nope, power up comes through. We'll eat up all day. Thank you, Aurora Veil. Thank you. Rockfall coming through. I wish we would eat this up with the Aurora Veil as well. Let's see. Yep. Thank you, Aurora Veil. Thank you. Um, dun, dun, dun. Do I go for another rock slide? Sandstorm is out. Sandstorm is upon us. Like I said, we do have this uh this up here, right? I'm just getting buffed it all around. And I think they're going to take the speed advantage. Definitely the Gyarados is going to take the speed advantage. Tailwind Peter's out. No more safeguard. I mean, here goes Guts. Do we think a Mach Punch can take that Gyarados out? He's a defense boost, but we are Guts. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Let's say I have definitely throw the Geyser over on here. I'm thinking no. I'm thinking just Rock Side. I'm thinking Rock Side can do, can do him dirty. Let's see. This is actually pretty close. This one's actually coming down. Let's go. Yo. Look at Big Lapras just overlooking everyone. Like, what you want? What you want, fools? Here, here, get. You can you don't protect the arrows. That's actually better for me. Unless he protects, uh... Actually, no. It's better than for me all around. That's 100% better than for me. Yo, Mudsail's gonna take some damage. We're gonna switch up this weather. He's not gonna like it too, too well. And Rockside's gonna come through. Because we should be able to outspeed. The Cockroach should be faster than... Than the... What's he called? The Mudsail. Let's see. Rockside. Protect with that. Gyarados. Come on. Hit the Mudsail. Make a flinch or something. Do him dirty. Do him dirty, baby. Yeah. Come on. Flinch him. Flinch him. Give it to him. Give him a little bit of flinch action. Let's go. Let's go. Love to see it. Okay. Uh, mock Punch can fly through. Did we take out the Mudsail with the Mock Punch? Definitely uh, Lightning. No, 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 no. We're not going to go for it. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're going. No, 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 no. We're going after the Gyarados with the Lightning. Look at her. She's like yawning. She's like, this match is too easy. Can we say Mock Punch takes him out. I'm just going to go Drain Punch on it. Stab a little Drain Punch. Waterfall's gonna come through. Actually, this could have helped him out a little bit. But we eat that out. That's game. That's game, baby. We got the speed now. GG, yo. Two and one with this squad. I like it. I'm telling you. Should have been three no. Should have been three no. That dang sleep powder. And you guys know it. You guys know if I would have landed that sleep powder in match number two, that would have been easy wins for us. Because, yeah, we would have had the whole control. We would have had an advantage and all that. And we would have never lost one of our front two Pokemon. It would have been easy. How could our flinches? Bro. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, okay, that's fine by me. That's fine. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. But when this waterfall ever makes somebody flinch? Like, I know it has a chance, but it never, ever works. It never works. Hopefully, I didn't speak too soon. It's kind of scary. Mm, I know we do outspeed. Let's go freeze dry and say GG to this guy. Okay. Oh, my lord. When, like, when does waterfall actually ever work? Like, everyone knows for a fact that it has, like, a doo-doo percent chance to actually uh, land that flinch. And, of course, this guy gets it. Like, I, I haven't seen it in forever. But it's all right. Free stride lands. Like I said, 2-1. We get that winning record. Let's go. Big fan of the team. Big fan of the Lapras squad. Not a bad way to start off the new season. Won a few. Lost one. Still salty about it. But, you know, played pretty well in the end. Got started off with the season. We're going to be trying to push Master Ball on my stream. So definitely go check it out. I'm a big fan of this team. I like the Rose Raid with that Wide Lens and Sleep Powder. I like the Clear Smog Channel Lower, even though we didn't get to show it off. It prevents Belly Drums and all weakness policy like Decorate stuff from happening. Lapras is Lapras. You guys already know the deal. I always love Sableye with that Fake Out. The Will Wisp to Quash and the Knock Off. Just can't control a match. We got the Women's Cup for the Tailwind and that Conqueror just to be a beast back end Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.